challenged us to make fidget spinners out of liquid metal. And so to do this, I've got my friend Grant from the King of Random over here, and he brought a ton of gallium with him. It was about $400 worth of gallium. What? Really special metal because it melts so low, you can melt it in the palm of your hand. Let's go. Let's light it up. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You're not wearing any hairspray, are you? Like, <laughs> my hair is like goes up in flames. Let's get lit. Aha. Uh -huh. See. Uh -huh. Next up, we are making molds while he is deconstructing the fidget spinners and he has got some hammers, a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So I'm going to let him do that. But for the molds, you need to pop these out and then mix these putties to mix the How do I get this out? Whoa. All right. There we go. Did we get it? Look at that. I did this once before. Oh, it's about as good as we're gonna get. Place down here. Kind of ash it. And then, uh, and then, Grant, you want to you want to pop it in there? There we go. We're just gonna press. Gonna make the mold. Down. This one looks pretty cool. And now we're gonna make another one and do the exact same thing. So here we go. Hulk smash. Meanwhile. And then we have the next one, go Perfect for it. Nice. This one's gonna look cool. Yeah, we actually got those inner rings there too. That's yeah. Those. That's gonna be pretty sweet. 20 minutes later. The molds are now ready of the fidget spinners. And we actually did a ton more down over here. We got some really cool looking ones. So we're gonna be making all of these into liquid metal fidget spinners. And we have a giant thing of gallium over here. I spent about 10 minutes with this in hot water and I got this thing completely liquefied. Like oh this. my gosh. That's a lot of liquid metal. It's actually quite weighty and jiggly. Can I feel it's like how heavy yeah, it is? That. Whoa! It's so heavy, but it looks like water. Yeah. It but it's so much heavier than water. It's like a mirror. Like, I can like see my reflection in it. This is crazy. Yes, but how does it taste? Yeah. <laughs> Should I put some in my mouth and spit it out? Is that a thing? I don't know. I've never tried it before. <gasps> no way! No way! No way! No way! Hey, hey! Oh my gosh! It's got a lovely aftertaste. That was so. I got, I got some more. It's like <laughs> what on earth? What is this sorcery? I have to admit, that's got a really weird feeling. Like, it's a heavy, and it like sunk down right below Dude, my tongue. Dude, stick out your tongue. The only little drops on it still, bro. So not recommended. Not recommended. Yeah, don't do that at home. They do say gallium's non-toxic, so hey, I like to push the boundaries. Consider the boundaries pushed. Yeah! <laughs> What a weird sound. Clump, thump, clump, thump, thump. Yo, that is legitimately like a mirror. If you guys don't care, Whoa. care to know. Sorry, I probably shouldn't be free. He's putting the stuff in his mouth and I'm like tripping out about a little drop of it flying in my direction. I think like as it's drying, it's literally freezing to the bottom. That's right crazy. Now. It's like right at that transition point. Cool. Which mold do you think we should fill up first? That's a really good question. I'm kind of leaning toward like the old traditional spinner. All right, the traditional spinner. <laughs> <laughs> the traditional, the original. All right, so here we go. Moment of truth. Ooh, we get suspense. We're gonna pour really slowly here. Oh, oh, I totally missed. Oh, that looks cool. How that it's looks up. so cool. Look at that. It's very round, it's very smooth. perfect. It looks beautiful. I love it. I love it. I think that's a keeper. Nailed it. <gasps> oh! <laughs> 10 points for Grant. Right now, I think we're going to fill up the rest of these molds. Set them in the fridge. Let them cool down for about 20 minutes. Because yep. we got to refreeze that metal. <clears throat> and then we're going to play with the fidget spinner to see if they spin. Because this is liquid metal. Who knows if it'll spin? Who knows if it'll just like, collapse mid-spin? Who knows what's gonna happen? Who knows if we can catch him on fire? Ooh! I think I'm gonna go for this one first because this one looks like it looks just yeah. That you sick. you can't mess this one up. Ooh! You Ooh. It. Missed a little bit. Let's see if we can get this side. Oh! I nice. think that's it. We got we got a bag of toothpicks here. I don't. <laughs> Did you guys hear that primal sound? I've never made that sound in my life. <laughs> I'm gonna just try and guide this metal down to the channel. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh! That, that, that belongs in like one of those satisfying compilations on Instagram. That one looks so good. Look how shiny it is around the edges here. They're just perfectly rounded. It's so smooth. So this last one's gonna be the most difficult because we're gonna be trying to recreate this money sign right here. So there's a lot of lines running through it. Oh, that is That cool. looks interesting. Oh. 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 oh! oh, that was cool. Oof. There you go. Okay. Yeah, so, so this one's like, I don't know how this is gonna go. Let's see, let's see if let's we can see. utilize the toothpick to get it. I think we I think this one might have uh, might have not not been so hot. And we got a little bit too much in there, huh? Yeah. I wonder if we could suck a little bit out. Do you have like a uh, like a dropper? One of those sucker things? <laughs> what do they call them? A syringe. Uh, like a mouth, I mean. <laughs> I mean you already put it in your mouth once, did you mind? <laughs> okay, I was like, no, dude! Oh! You this, okay. 
No problem. I have never seen anyone put gallium in their mouth before. So like, shout out to this guy because that is some incredible stuff right there. So Grant, which one should we do first? Which do you think is the easiest one? And then we'll make our way to the most difficult one. Like these little ninja blades here. I'd like to go with one. Let's try this one here, so. Oh, and if you look really close oh my here, gosh. you can actually see how the gallium has made little crystals in the top there. Yo! What? It looks so crazy. I'd love to know what causes that because there's nothing bubbling up out of the silicone. Yeah, like there, there's no bubbles, or there's there's nothing in it. They're pretty close match when you actually look at like the imprint of how it all comes out. So here we go, bearing goes in. What if we just put this bar over yeah, the top Yeah, let's in? do it. Just hammer it. Bang, oh! that works! Okay, so we got the button there. Yep. We got the little button on the top here. Here we go, this is the moment of truth. Can we make a liquid metal fidget spinner spin? But first, I've got a challenge. I want to see if you can subscribe to this channel, turn on the channel post notifications, and give this video a thumbs up in seven seconds. You ready for this? Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, done. If you can do that, comment down below Keeper Squad right now. And here we go, the moment of truth. Will it spin? I'm nervous, dude. I'm nervous, dude. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> dude, it works! Yo, this is the first ever liquid metal fidget spinner. Next up, we're gonna use the more, I guess you could call it the traditional fidget spinner look. And so what's gonna happen, guys, is after this one, we're gonna do what you guys have all been waiting for, and that is to see if we can melt a fidget spinner mid-spin. It's gonna be nuts, but first we have to make sure that it spins. Three, two, one. Yeah! Dude, that's so cool. There we go. Yeah. There we yeah. go. I think we should go through the rest of them and test to make sure they all spin. And then afterwards, we're going to spin them all and they're going to be melting mid spin because we've got some blow torches and also some other ways to make this melt. That looks Whoa. so cool. It actually works. That works well. Let's put on our little pressing device, our bearing inserting device. Yes. We're going to put that right between two blocks of pewter and. What happened? Don't tell me it broke. I hope it didn't break. I hope it went through. I want to see if you can spin it without. Oh! Do you want to grab the blowtorch and just melt off a couple little bits into my Dude, hand? For real, should we grab? <laughs> Let's do it. Grab the blowtorch. Yeah. And if you guys do this at home, be very, very careful. Make sure you use parental supervision. Go for it. Whoa, oh, jeez, yeah, we're gonna go for it. And a huge shout out to the Instagram Keeper of the Week who suggested we should use a ton of different fidget spinners. If you want to be shouted out as the Instagram Keeper of the Week, check the description down below to find out how. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Is it gonna come off? It is. Yeah. Here it goes. Oh. oh! Oh! It fell on my finger! Whoa! The five prong one turned out so good! That super cool. Just tap it gently. Yep. Just be gentle. This thing is stubborn, man. Oh! No! I just smashed it! It cracked! Oh. That was the risky one to begin with. I really didn't know whether or not it would work, but we, we gave it a shot. But we have one final one left. Money, money. The money one. Oh, that actually turned Oh my out. gosh! Oh, that turned out so good! That was really good. Who would've thought? I have a question for you because this looks so good. Should I use this as my necklace instead of the key necklace? Like, I don't know how permanent it'll be. I'll be walking around, my bling will be just dripping all over the place. It's dripping but... all over your chest. <laughs> exactly. <metal. laughs> We just remembered when we were removing the bearing from this uh, fidget spinner, we broke it. And so we don't actually have one. So I got a couple bars of pewter as well. This is a higher temperature metal that we're gonna make a solid fidget spinner out of metal that doesn't melt. And if you guys wanna see the exact opposite of melting metal, we did something where we took water, like water out of a water bottle, and turned it into instant ice and into an instant slushy. It was like a magic trick, so make sure you guys go check that out on his channel. The link is down in the description below. Make sure you guys go subscribe to him and I'll show his video some love as well. But right now I think it's time to step outside, light these on fire. But first, I heard we need a blowtorch for this. Oh, I got my blowtorch. We got a blowtorch. <laughs> I love the blowtorch. All right, so I'm gonna kind of hold up. All right, lean back. Okay. Less is on for safety. Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Same. That's crazy. Oh, it's working. You know what, give that 10 seconds and I think that's gonna be hardened up already. Not too shabby. That's not hot to the glove. Uh, it's actually not too bad. Whoa, there we go. There we go, we made a fidget spinner. What's impressive to me is the silicone holds up to the heat. I was about to say the exact same thing. Like the silicone, if you guys look at it, it's not damaged, it's not melted, and it was it wasn't damaged. very, very, very hot. All right, lick the top of the blowtorch. Oh, ow, oh, that's hot. Ow, oh, that's hot. Let's see how hot that still is, or isn't. No wonder it's so hot. 
when I grabbed it. We're now outside for the final part. We're gonna be lighting this gallium on fire to see how it melts as it's spinning. Before we do this, comment down below and let me know what should I make a fidget spinner out of next. When it comes to flaming fidget spinners, the experts use hand sanitizer. And guys, please do not do this at home. And if you do, make sure you do it with parental supervision because this can be very, very dangerous. That being said, this is gonna be cool. These little holes with sanitizer. That's gonna be cool. In fact, look, we can kind of like track it around in a circle. Look at that, it's gonna light up that whole thing. Sweet. Alcohol flames are hard to see, but that is burning. Whoa! Oh, oh my guys. gosh! It's yeah, actually it still on fire right now, look at that. Oh my gosh, yo! It's like burning my fingers. You can't even see the flames, but the whole spinner is oh disappearing. Gosh. Look at that. The flaming, disappearing fidget spinner trick by Colin. Oh my Spinner. gosh. Okay, this is getting a little lopsided. You cannot see those flames. Obviously, it's burning because it's burning holes in my fingertips right now. Oh, jeez. Oh, We're going to have nothing but a bearing left here in a second. Yo, it literally disintegrated. What? Right now, guys, go check out the video we did on Grant's channel. It is crazy. You can click right over there or the link down in the description below. And make sure you go subscribe to his channel. This was so much fun. Thank you so much for being in this video. And uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.